So here we are at Bunjalaka Aboriginal Cultural Centre and we're outside at the Malari Garden. Malari is a local Kulin word which means outside. To start off we're looking at the flagpole, the Aboriginal flag, red, black and yellow. The black symbolising the skin of the people, the sky, the blood is the red and the land, and the gold or yellow represents the sun, the bringer of light. Here this is one of the, the plant species that grows in Malari. This is Gukwundurk or old man weed, a plant that grows along the length of the Murray River. It was used for medicinal purposes. You could make a, a tonic out of it, so put it in the hot water to, to make a type of tea, which would be used for carrying when you have uh, chest infections or colds. It could also be rubbed onto the skin for if you had infections or mosquito bites. Here we're looking at the common nadu, a plant that's found in much of inland Australia where there are watercourses. The Nadu is a plant that brought about the undoing of our famous explorers Burke and Wills. Look into the story, it's quite tragic. Now we're looking at Pongort, or a common sedge, and this is a plant that was used uh, for weaving baskets. Malari is a working garden, so members of the Aboriginal community harvest the plant from the garden along with a number of other species. This is a, a flax lily, and this particular uh, species grows throughout Melbourne. It's used for landscaping because it's a very hardy species. It's used in uh, landscaping for a, a lot of shopping centre uh, driveways uh, and parking lots. The fruit uh, are edible, although I would never suggest to students to try things out in their local area unless they're absolutely sure of what it is as this species may look like a number of others that might not be as palatable to humans. Uh, the leaves from this plant were also used for uh, weaving, making string, rope, baskets and a number of other objects. Here we are at the, the top end of Malari Garden and this is our resident Murray Cod. His name is Pondy. The Murray Cod is a very important totem to the Yorta Yorta people. Uh, Murray Cod are also known to grow to the, the size of a large man, so over six foot tall. Although with the, the health of the Murray River these days you would certainly not find a, a fish of that gargantuan size anymore. This is the spear shaft of a xanthorea tree or commonly known as a grass tree or in some parts the black boy tree. The xanthorea had a multitude of different uses. It was uh, used for food. You could extract the, the, the leaves from the, the, the base which are like uh, grass fronds. The, the base of each leaf was edible. The, the flower at the top of the spear shaft was uh, a source of sugar. The, the spear shaft was used as a spear shaft, although only for half. It was very important because it was allowed for a spear to be uh, much lighter. So it was heavily traded from one group to another. Also, it had a, a number of different uses, which you, you can certainly look up, both by Aboriginal people and European uh, early settlers. And then finally, Malari's Pond, and one of the, the resident turtles. Again, a, a very important totem for the Yorta Yorta people, my people. The, the long-necked turtle resident here at Malari, there are five of them in the pond and there are a number of other aquatic species including short-finned eels and perch. Uh, 